Good everybody, welcome back uh, to our series. Um, been a usual story. Been a um, few days since um, I've uh, done a video. Um, again, work takes over, so um, just bear with me. You know, but we'll try and add value to to what we are doing and uh, what you see in here. Okay, so um, I believe probably in the last video we, we were doing things like we we're adding a bit more casework, um, um, and we've just been adding components for the last few days, or for the last few. So what I wanted to do, but sort of, I think you've got the gist now of what you know how to add materials, and you've probably all been practicing. Okay, so what I want to do now is actually start looking at the build itself. Um, with a section and just sort of identifying you know things that we perhaps need to do um, that we probably couldn't see before okay so we're just going to take you through the process of creating um, a couple of sections and um, you know how to manipulate them a little bit and then um, we'll finish that video and that, that's going to give us I suppose the guidance as to where we take the the rest of um, this project. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to add a insert a couple of sections. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to follow my mouse. Okay, we're in the ribbon bar and we want to go all the way here and we want to go to the view tab. Okay, so left click on the view tab and straight below it, generally, if it's out of the box, okay, we've got a section button there. Okay, if you want to do it the quick way, if we go to our quick tools up the top there, we've got a little section button there. It does exactly the same thing. It's just a quicker way of getting there. So I just got to left click on this one though. Okay. So we know we're active. Um, you know, our crosshairs turns, you know, we get little crosshairs here. So, and really what we're going to do is we're just going to draw a line. Okay. So it's left click to start, left click to finish, and that will create um, the section in the first instance. Okay. So what we might do is we might actually just drag and we might do a section through here. Okay, we want to pick up the stairs and see what happens there. So I'm just going to go left click here. There we go. See now I've dropped that. Okay. And now I can go drag out the tail. Okay. And um, I can place this wherever I like. So I might just, you know, place it about there. Okay, so there's our section. That, that's it dropped straight in. Not a problem. Okay. Now, if I now go to, if I want to see this section, there's a couple of ways I can do it. Number one, I can go into here into my project browser on the left hand side. Okay. And there's a little sections section right down here. So I'll explode that little tree there. And there we go, section one. So I can double click on this and there it is. Okay, there's our section. Cutting through the stairs, and there's, there's a nice big gap where we've created the floor, and there's some other bits and bobs there. Okay, so we've got that. Now, what else can we look at? Okay, which we'll go back to the ground floor plan, so just double click on that. Okay, so the other way to get into the section view is to, in the section head here, I can double click in this little part here where the triangle is. So if I double click in there rapidly, there we go, that happens. So we get the same view, just a couple of different ways of achieving the same result. Okay. Alright, so this is the default section view. Okay, and um, we are seeing, um, we see our levels all there. Uh, what other information can we see? We can see our some earth hatch down here, so we've got our um, our foundation. Okay, we can um, see our stairs. We can see some doors. Walls are all greyed out. We can see the outline of the roof. Okay, where the roof has been sliced. Um, I said levels. So there's a range of different things that we can see. Okay, but the clarity is not fantastic at this stage. So, start introducing a few little things. So number one, first thing I want to do is that this wall here is greyed out, but I know that that is not a greyed out wall, it's a brick veneer wall and I need to see that detail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to here to my view controls, 
Okay, and I'm going to left click this little rectangle here where it says detail level course. So left click on that and I've got coarse, medium and fine. Okay, so this is how much detail Revit will display. So in a section I'm expecting to see a, a fair amount of detail. So I can go click on the fine. You watch what happens to everything in the walls. There we go. There's our brick veneer, brick, air, thermal gap or an air gap in the timber, timber wall there, stairs, yeah, there's section cut line, etc. I think we see a little bit more information here with regards to the doors, like we can start seeing the architraves. Okay. So the next thing we all want to do now here is this text is way too big and the way I generally operate when I'm doing a section Okay, the ground floor and the elevations are all at 1 to 100. And an elevation, I, I would expect to be seeing a lot more detail. Okay. And um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the scale of this particular view. So again, in my view controls, bottom left hand corner there, there's a scale button there which says 1 to 100. Left click on that and we get a range of default um, um, scales. So we can use 1 to 50 here. If you want to customize it, you can add something in there. But I'm just going to use the 1 to 50. Okay, you just watch what happens. Okay, everything shrinks. Okay, and the reason for that is that um, this text size hasn't changed. Okay, it was the fact that the drawing got bigger. Okay, so this remained the same, the drawing got bigger. So it's about the text is, is annotative um, within um, Revit. Okay, so if it says a says if it's a two millimeter high text, it will be two millimeters high regardless of scale. Okay, right here. So that's that's the bones of actually how to get a uh, create a basic section. But now I'm just I'm going to go back to the ground floor plan. Okay, and we're just going to develop that a little bit further, because um, if I go to the first floor plan, okay, what I was noticing was that we were cutting off around here. Okay, right, let's just go back and I'll prove that there. So if I go left click, there we go. See the left right hand side here, I've just cut off that little bit of that part there. So there's a couple of things I can do. I can grab this outside rectangle, this is a viewport, okay, or a viewing window. I can left click on that and grab that little red, blue dot, a grip, and I can just left click and drag that out. There we go. Now I can see that Eve. But let's go back to the ground floor plan. Okay, left click on the section. Okay, so this is the section marker. Okay, then we have this light blue dash line here. Look at these light lines. Okay, and that's the actual section view. So we can actually have this independent of the markers. So what I'm going to do here is I can like I can drag that in to there. Actually, maybe I don't want to. Okay, let, hold on, let's go to the first floor plan. We're going to see a lot more there. There we go. So first floor plan, we can bring this in. So what we can do is we can actually have the marker, the section marker, independent of what it's actually looking at. So that's something quite handy to have. So, but the marker itself, so I can drag this out, I can drag that head out there. The view itself doesn't change, likewise here. The view doesn't change. Uh, what else can we do with the section marker? I can left click on it. Okay, this little I can use my um, flip section arrows there to turn the section around. Okay, so I can look in the other direction. I've also got these little arrow, little cycle section head arrows. Um, not, they're not arrows. Well, I suppose they are. A little rotate symbol. Okay, so I can go left click on that, and we're just changing the symbol type there. So there's just a, a, a tail, nothing at all back to the head. So it doesn't gives us the ability so we can this would be the normal but if we're left, we're in a situation where it's hard to um, see you know we might have dimensions in the way and we don't want a section head right in the way so we could probably cycle through that and go right we're not going to have a section head there for the sake of we need I much rather see dimensions or notations than a section head so there's different ways of doing that. Uh, what else can we do with our section head um, or our section marker? If I click on it, you'll see in the middle there, there's a little break line. If I left 
click that we can put a little we can put a break section in the thing click, click that again and another thing we can do if we look up in the top here okay in a ribbon it says split segment okay so this is basically where we might say right well I want to look through that part there okay I've looked I'll finish looking through the stairs but I'm going to click it there okay I'm going to cut the section then I'm going to drag it over here okay so the section is going to look through that piece then it's going to break and it's going to look through that piece so common a common goal that we achieve with architecture okay um, so we'll do one more just to show, show you the thing. So now I'm going to run through here. I'm going to run through this direction. Okay, so I'm going to see what's happening in the garage. I'm going to use the quick tool now. So section head there. And I'm just going to go left click there. And I'm just going to run about there. And I'll probably just leave it like that. And I'll just double click on my section head there. Okay, and there's our garage. So there's so you can see some of some of our materials happening here okay and I can also see a range of you know issues so same thing as what I did last time I'm going to change the section to 1 to 50 okay and I'm going to change the detail level to fine so that I can see a lot more happening around here okay so we can leave it at that okay and but now that we've done this we can we can see a whole range of issues which means I can we can start jibber jabbering about other stuff and actually trying to fix our drawing and get it working a bit better Okay.